So with the anticipated and potential somber meta coming in, I thought it would be nice, being a somber main and all, that I'd help you guys in countering Sombra. Which is weird because it'll make me work harder as a Sombra player, but I know how helpless it can feel if you aren't quite sure how to deal with her. So here are my opinions on how to do just that. Okay first are the general tactics, then we'll talk about specific heroes. As a team it's very important to try to collapse on the Sombra as you would a Tracer or a Genji. Now this won't always take her out, but it will ensure she doesn't get much value out of that particular flank. Now before this update, it was kind of a bittersweet technique because although you succeeded in chasing the Sombra away, all you did was give her ultimate charge. It was always a dilemma dealing with a flanking Sombra. If you do damage to her, then she will simply translocate and get ult charge. And if you don't damage her, she will get a free hack on the target she wants. Pretty unfair how she's always on the winning side of that most of the time. Now you don't have to battle with such a choice, and no, if she translocates to a health pack, she is actually robbing her supports of ult charge. So it's actually in your benefit now to damage her and chase her away from your backline. The next thing is to understand you have to anticipate the EMP and hide your supports when you know it's coming. Experienced Sombras like to take a risky but very effective move where they throw the trans at your group, then EMP midair once they teleport. Get used to looking out for this technique. However, they don't always scout ahead to see where the supports are at that time, so they might miss you if you are hiding, which you should be doing if you think EMP is coming. Also, an experienced Sombra will look for the supports first to EMP while invisible, so you will need help from your team because it's very difficult to deal with that on your own. In general, if you let your team know EMP is coming and you spread out, some of your team won't be hit by it, and those teammates should then use their ults to slow down the enemy's follow-up on that EMP. Okay, so that's two team-oriented tactics for dealing with an effective Sombra. Now I'm going to give you specific heroes that are natural quote-unquote counters to Sombra. So McCree isn't on this list because just like when he goes against a Tracer, it's all about the flashbang and or you really need good aim, which is a lot to ask from everyone. These are heroes that you don't have to try that hard and you will make Sombra's job much more difficult to do. And I picked at least one hero from each category. Torbjorn. I know you're probably spitting out your milk or water or coffee, whatever liquid you have right now, but because Torbjorn is getting a serious rework soon, I'm putting him on this list. And in his current state, he is super annoying to Sombra. At low ranks, many players don't take out the turret very quickly, and this will constantly interrupt Sombra's hack. And now she doesn't even get ult charge from the health pack, so she can't even compromise and get ult charge off the turret damage on her either. Of course, if Winston jumps in first, then she may get the hack off anyways, but still, it's decent enough. I'm actually hoping that the updated Torbjorn will allow players to select which target the turret will attack, like a Zen Discord orb. Anyways, D.Va. Now, while this is more of an even matchup, D.Va does have a super easy time interrupting Sombra's hack with her primary fire. Just make sure that if you are holding Matrix that you drop it as soon as you see the hack animation start. Even with the speed buff, the hack isn't fast enough to get you before you start putting damage on her interrupting it. Orisa is, in my opinion, the best tank against Sombra, period. She has time to activate 4 to 5 before the hack completes, and it doesn't remove her barrier the way it does with Reinhardt. And the other thing is, if you get really good with shooting your barriers in the air, you can actually still have one even when you get EMP'd. Because the little projectile she fires is EMP proof. So it will land and give you and your team a fresh barrier, ready for the fight post EMP. Reaper is also a great hero for interrupting the hack, but you have to play the peeling style of Reaper and stay with your supports and tanks. No flanking. And he has a Wraith form which only makes you affected by hack for only like 2 seconds when you come out of it. Moira has the easiest time out of all the supports to interrupt hack, and still puts out massive heals when EMP'd. Throwing the damage orb at Sombra also helps in interrupting the hacks. Just be careful when using Coalescence that she doesn't come up on your side and hack you. And the last hero I'll say is actually the brand new one that was just announced, Brigitta. Simply because her ult feels like it was made to counter EMP. Sombra doesn't remove armor, only shields. And the armor has no time limit, so at some point you have to burn through that armor to get to the health. And Sombra's gun isn't great against armor compared to burst damage heroes. Now with all that said, you won't always stop the hack in time, and you won't save everyone from EMP and the follow-up. But I hope this helps you feel like you have some control over the situation when facing a good Sombra, and you can help your team counter her confidently. And maybe even make the Sombra switch off. Ukram. 
So grant me one request. Grant me revenge. And if you do not listen, then the hell with you. <laughs> Why are you mad? If you enjoyed these tips and would like to speak with me, please join my Team Reflect Discord where we have many coaches that can offer free advice and do VOD reviews and help you gain your next rank. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.